guys in this video we're gonna cover about what is ISTB Turkey joint international scholarship program what are its coverage a little bit but also majority of the question like is it for only Muslims what are the age limit for undergraduate masters and PhD and what are the conditions for you when you are given this scholarship do they just give you okay direct into the video so what is ISDB Turkey Joint International Scholarship Program? This is the combination or joint of two different sponsors, meaning ISDB, the Islamic Development Bank, and Turkey Scholarship or Turkish government, government. So two sponsors came together to form ISDB Turkey Joint international scholarship opportunity so this is different from the isdb themselves the islamic development bank they have their own scholarship and the turkish government government has its own turkish turkish government scholarship so they came together they have their own different scholarship which have different deadline from this one so meaning now if we count we have isdb scholarship which ends up on February, starts on January and ends up on February 20, 28, something like that. And we have Turkey, Turkish Government Scholarship, Turkey Bursnal, which starts also on January 20 and ends up on February 20. But this is ISDB, so joint between these two sponsors. And start, this starts from March 15 up to April 15. I hope we are done with that. So. It is open for all applicants from all parts of the world to study in Turkey, in universities located in Turkey. The website for applying is just the same as Turkey, Turkey Burslar or turkeyscholarship.gov.tr. Yeah. About the coverage for the scholarship is full funded, meaning the monthly stipend, accommodation, flight ticket from your home country to where you come and when you graduate the full tuition fee books and allowance stationery health insurance etc etc what are the age criteria or eligibility criteria age limit so for undergraduate you should be born not earlier than first of january 2000 meaning up to now you should have all you should have just you should not be above 21 years old which is actually 2021 so you should have 21 years old and for undergraduate meaning the scholarship is free of charge they sponsor you there is no any any assignment or any condition for you to return that sponsorship for master's candidate, master's candidate, the age criteria or age, age limit, you should not be born earlier than 1st January of 1991. Meaning 1991 up to now, we can count almost 30 years, right? If mathematics I was good or if I'm wrong, yeah, almost 30 years. So not born earlier than that. And for master's, for PhD, I don't remember, but when you go and fill all your criteria, you will see the LGBT criteria or the age limit over there. For masters, for masters candidate, the scholarship is you are not given for free. You have after you graduate and start working, you need to be paying fifty percent. Yeah, as let me try to read for you a little bit here so that you can see about this criteria. But before going to read for you there, the curve, the all the department are taught, majority of the department are taught in Turkish language. If you want to study in a department taught in English, you have to present the English proficiency tests or exam, meaning you can bring your, your with your own a SAT. IELTS, TOEF, ACT, etc., etc. But in case maybe you did your studies in English, maybe you can try the luck. Maybe they might accept that to get enrolled into English taught university. NB, 
department which are taught in English and you find is English 30%. It depends to your university strictness, like how strict are they to stick into their rules. But majority of them, 30% is just like total English, total Turkish language, not English, like never exist. It exists just at the beginning of the days, but as days goes on, it's like there's no English. But 30% English is better than 0% English. It's better than studying in 100% Turkish language because your certificate can be written in English and you can present it to another country which you want to go to study that you studied in English language. All right, so you can see about the conditions. See, I want to show you a little bit. You can see uh, if you already registered in any Turkish universities, you are not eligible for, to apply for this joint. But you can see uh, all the applicants, no matter you are doing the department in English or Turkish, you must do the language part of course in case you don't have C1, which is the highest level of Turkish language in, in Turkish language. So you must do that. Okay. But you can see about what I was saying about, but this is for undergraduate. For masters, you can see are not born than earlier 1991 and masters and PhD, you will have to refund 50% of the total amount spent on their study after graduation and securing gainful employment in easy installments. So to local education trust fund established by ISTB in your home countries. On the part for the accommodation and the monthly stipend, this is different from Turkey Burslag. This, they give you a monthly stipend, which is full package. From the monthly stipend, you, you will know yourself how you can balance it to get the accommodation and how to survive living expense. So they give you enough money, which if you choose to live in a dorm, you can pay rent in a dorm and still buy you some of the things which you want to live to. Or if you choose to rent an apartment, you can rent an apartment. It's not like Turkey, Borussia or Turkish government scholarship where they send you direct to live in the dorms. If you don't want to stay in the dorms, you need to fund yourself. They don't give you that money to go and rent an apartment. No. So this is different. It's more free. I want to answer a little bit some of the question. Must you use the passport? Must you have an international passport for, the, for you to apply to this? No. You can just apply using the national ID or any ID which, uh, national ID which is used in your home country. As well as um, another question, can I use the same email which I used to apply for Turkey Burslar? For me, I've tried to use the same email and it has agreed. And you can see there, like if you check this link, you can see how I showed that, how I navigated. So now if you go to the home page and you click to see the scholarship which you are applying for, it will pop ISTB scholarship, not Turkey, Burslar scholarship, or ISTB Turkey. No, it will come, pops out just ISTB, Islamic Development Bank. So try to use it when you open and try to check what pops out. But also, Is it, another question, is it only for Muslims? No, it is not just for Muslims. You can see over there are a number of different diversity of religions are available, Hinduism, etc. etc. I don't want to mention the, the names because I am not sure about giving the correct pronunciation. I don't want to wrong anybody, but it's open. If you are Muslim, Christian, Non-believer, you can find there that there's a chance you can choose to whatever believe you believe or whatever non-believing you are attached to. So it's open for all the people to apply. Last question: Those who applied for Turkey Burslal, can you apply for this scholarship? Yes, yes, because this is totally different from that which you applied. Though the sponsors. The sponsors of here and here sponsors just co-sponsor, but they are totally different. So you can apply also 
for this scholarship because even the selection criteria will be different the basement on evaluation and other stars will have different committees because of here they'll have members from uh, islamic development bank and some from turkish government scholarship they'll come together so half team half team but over there they just go turkish government scholarship committee so that's it best wishes